Okay, so I just got out of the shower, obviously. Got my lettuce peeled back here, and now I'm fired up and ready to do this thing. As you can obviously see, I made my bed for this video specifically. I washed my sheets this morning, so I figured I'd dress it up real nice in the background here instead of a weird clump that's in the back. Yep. We're back with the protein powder, because I just got back from the gym, so. Still not a tool, I don't think, but, I mean, if you think so, then cool. Good for you little continuation from yesterday's video about the ice cream. I didn't finish the ice cream, which is good, but then one of my roommates made pasta at like 11 p.m., so I had a small bowl of that, and then I was hungry from eating, and then I continued to eat some chips after that. I don't know which would have been worse, finishing the ice cream or what I did anyways. So I don't know. I think it's basically the same, but I still have ice cream left now, so that's really the bonus there. Also about yesterday, I went to take notes on the chapter that I thought I didn't do, but turns out in the airport when I was waiting for our new plane, I did take notes on the chapters, so I only had to do the homework, and the homework really wasn't that bad, so I saved myself at least like 30 minutes of note taking, so that was huge. I messed up this morning, messed up real bad, or actually I messed up last night. We were trying to figure out who was driving this morning to practice, and I volunteered, and it was raining this morning, so I had to walk to my car in the rain. Our room has an agreement where if you're driving, you go get your car, and then you pull it around for everyone. So if it's cold, we don't have to walk. We don't all have to walk in the cold. So we did that, and it was raining, so I walked in the rain. So I messed up. I messed up. Yesterday, my roommate and his girlfriend were watching the episode of The Bachelor that they missed on Monday. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. That show is so weird to watch. I definitely couldn't be one of, like, 20 males competing for one female, and I don't even know if I could be the guy, honestly. Not to sound like, I don't know, gay or like a loser, but going around and kissing or being interactive with a bunch of different women in front of other people who are also competing for your attention and are also thinking that they're at the same level or maybe a farther level in their relationship with you while you're doing those things with other people would just mess with my mind if I was one of the females. And if I was the guy, I wouldn't want them to feel that way, and it's kind of weird in my mind. Well, even watching it, like, it's weird for me to watch. If I was a contestant, I would just be like, my mind would go crazy every single day just because of thinking what would be going on with that person that I'm competing for and the 15 or 20 other guys that are also equally, I guess, qualified or attractive or whatever to win over that person. And I don't know, it would probably just drive me nuts and there's just no way I could do it. And I think maybe it's not like the actual, like kissing or being physical with other people, like multiple people at one time that I have a biggest issue with. I think it's just the fact that he does it like visibly in front of the others that I think I have a little bit of an issue with. I don't know if maybe it's just that guy or if it's like every season that this happens. Cause I don't watch the show like ever, obviously, but maybe I'm a little old fashioned. I just feel like that stuff should just be done in private or whatever, or if you just should have one person and just go for that one person, and then if that doesn't work out, move on to the next one and give that person a shot, you know? I don't know. Obviously, that's not how the show is done. Maybe that's just the way I am. Just a really interesting thing that they have going on there, and it's just kind of weird to me, honestly. Kudos if you enjoy the show. I don't think it's terrible, but it's tough to watch for me, for sure. Like I said, not to sound like a loser, but, you know, that's just me.